a large formal Senate board and box table to a tiny little traveler version made of ivory that was only about this big. Tutankhamun was the supreme ruler of a superpower. These artifacts remind us of his youth and perhaps offer us a glimpse of his character. Where Carter's discovery showed the world the pharaoh, modern science is showing us the man. Further investigations of the tomb's artifacts and Tut's mummy are likely to reveal more details about the real human being behind the mask. But in ancient Egypt, like today, the vast majority of the population were not kings and queens. They were ordinary working men and women who formed the heart of a nation. Through the next discovery, Egyptologists can get a glimpse of these ordinary people, the citizens of ancient Egypt. Ten great discoveries made in Egypt reveal an extraordinary civilization. But while the ruins that stand let us see what ancient Egypt looked like, it's much harder to know how its people behaved. It really is a peephole, a voyeuristic peephole into life in ancient Egypt. The fifth discovery offers a chance to understand the lives of ordinary citizens in the town of the tomb builders. The town of Deir el Medina gives a rare insight into daily life in ancient Egypt. It stood on the west bank of the Nile. The remains of an uncontaminated Egyptian town make a rare and very valuable discovery. Daryl Medina remains pretty much untouched as the villagers left it. So this is really a huge resource for archeologists in reconstructing the lives of ancient Egyptians. It survives because it was built of stone. Most other ancient Egyptian towns were built on the Nile floodplain from mud brick, which washes away. The spectacular and very lucky thing about Daryl Medina is that it survived at all. It was home to 280 people, and it was built in an unlikely location. It's high up in the desert, an hour's walk from the Valley of the Kings. This leads archaeologists to believe that it was purpose-built to house the people who worked in the valley. They were charged with the building, the constructing, and also the decoration of the king's tombs in the valley. Families appear to have lived in their own single-story houses. This is actually the front door of a house that really I believe that this man was one of the overseer, and he should be a very uh, influential person. Craftsmen, goldsmiths, and tomb builders held high status in a land where most of the population worked long, hard hours as farmers. Workmen had a pretty cushy job when it comes down to it. It seems that on average, they worked maybe two out of three days. They would receive fish and wine on special occasions. They probably liked the job that they had. As well as constructing the tombs of their pharaohs, the citizens of Deir el Medina built their own. And by examining artwork on their walls, archaeologists can begin to piece together the lives of the people who lived there. We can really actually learn a lot about daily life from Deir el Medina tombs. The art shows a thriving community of prosperous and successful individuals. But the paintings on the walls reveal how the villagers wanted to be seen. 